so had a viewer kind of complain a little bit that uh, when I did a breaker install that I didn't actually show how to insert that breaker into the panel. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this cover off of here and I brought a breaker with me. As you can see this unit is uh, what we consider a classic unit. Everything in here has got the white door cabinets and we've got these old floors. Uh, we've got the old wall color. So what we're going to do is upgrade this unit. So I need to put a breaker in this panel anyway because I'm going to change that hood to a microwave. So it's going to need a breaker. So I'll go ahead and take the cover off of that panel and I'll show you how to actually insert that breaker in the panel. I'll show you what the breaker looks like on the back side and show you exactly where it snaps in place so that it makes contact and sends voltage out to what will be a microwave range hood combo right here over the stove. So hang in there with me. We'll get started. So one of the things you want to do is when you got your little screws that you pulled off of this panel, you want to go ahead and set them inside of the panel. What I've learned is that if you don't put these in the panel, you set them on your countertop or something like that, they tend to get lost. So I always just throw them in the bottom of this panel here because we actually are going to have to cut this drywall out. And if you've watched one of my other videos, You've seen that we cut the drywall out here, we cut it out up on the ceiling right there, there's a little spot. And then we also come over here on top of the hood and we cut a hole out right there. And then inside of this cabinet, we're gonna put an outlet in there. So in order to do that, we've gotta cut this ceiling out and drop that wire down through the wall so that we can plug our microwave in because the circuit that this hood is on is only a 15 amp circuit. That microwave is going to require a 20 amp circuit. That's why we go ahead and we put a 20 amp breaker. In this panel. And this is the back of it. So what you've got is this part of it right here is actually what clips into this bar, the little silver part here. I'm sorry, this part of it does. This part connects right to here. That's what kind of holds it in place. I'll show you all the steps of exactly how to mount this breaker, how to insert it into a breaker panel. And what you want to do is you, you want to make sure you're not playing with the, elect the electricity. You know, you got 240 volts coming in these wires right here. And it looks like I'm pretty close to them, but I'm not. And uh, that'll give you a pretty good zap. So you definitely want to be careful with that. So if you understand how a, the breaker panel works, as you see right here, we have 110 volts. 110 volts here, and this is your ground, or not ground, but your neutral. So you, between these two, you get 110. Between these two, you get 110. And the way this panel is, these lugs go down each panel. And every one of these, every other one of these, is 110 volts. 
So your double breakers, your 240 volt breakers, are using one stab block that's coming from this side and one from this side, which is this one and this one. That gives you your 240 volts. If you're only using one, that's your 110. So this 20 amp that I just put in here is 110 volts. It's only using one side of the 110. This leg, this leg is using is all of these this side here. So when you're setting up your breaker panel, you want to try to keep these as even as you can. Of course, we're going to have an odd breaker here, but if we did an addition, we'd put it on this side and keep the panel even. That way. You, you're kind of sharing that voltage. But that's how this breaker panel sets up. Like I said, this is a square D panel. They're all probably pretty much the same. The breaker styles are going to be different, but the way that they're set up, every other leg is your 110. And then two of those every other legs together gives you 240. I'll show you again how this breaker pops out. You're just going to disconnect it from the power leg. and then pull it off of the plastic tab here at the bottom. This piece right here is holding the plastic to the plastic on the panel. This one here is actually hooking to the power leg on that side of the panel. And they just snap in place. You're going to line this up with your plastic, bring it up right next to your other breaker, pop it in place. Just like that. So for the viewer that was upset with me because my big fat shoulder got in the way, hey, I'm really sorry about that. Uh, like I said in the comment on the other video, didn't realize my shoulder was big or fat. And for that, I'm sorry if, if it got in the way. I hope this helps you to know how this breaker snaps in on a square D panel. It's that simple. This is Dan Giles. I'll see you soon.